Get ready with me using cruelty-free products and chit-chatting about the environment. Hi everybody, welcome back to Zeva Olia with me Zeva. Today I would like to make a get ready with me video. I want to show you how I usually do my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. What is special and unique about this get ready with me video is that not only you will see my day-to-day -day, no makeup makeup natural look, but I will also be sharing with you various environmental issues facts as of March 2019. I love makeup, especially since my early 20s, as you can see with these looks that I've made in the past, but as I increased in age, I don't use makeup as much. I still love makeup and I experiment with it, but usually when there are special events. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I like to keep things very simple. But, you know, as long as it makes my face look fresh, that is the most important thing for me. First thing that I do, I usually use a priming water. It really freshens up my skin. It is always a good start to the day. And I am using Studio Tropics Flawless Priming Water. So what I usually do is I spray this on my face and then I do a massage ritual that really makes my skin more relaxed in the morning. So as I spray this flawless priming water by Studio Tropic, according to a 2018 report by the World Meteorological Organization, the global mean sea level from January to July 2018 was around 2 millimeters to 3 millimeters higher than January to July 2017. This might seem small, but actually it has evolved three times faster compared to the 20th century. And if we are not careful, this will rise even more. So I usually don't use eye contours or eye creams on a daily basis in the morning but when I do it's usually because in that morning I feel really bogged down and tired and I just don't feel fresh but if I do want to use a boost I usually use this to energize my eyes. As I sweep this Flash Youth Eye Contour Concentrate by Ioma under my tired aging eyes it shouldn't tire you out to know that humankind should quicken their pace to care about the environment as quick as the number of animals being added to the endangered species list. The reasons could be because of poaching, economic development, climate change, pollution, and the decline of their habitats. This is one of my favorite face serums. I have other face serums as well, but this is the one that I usually go back to frequently. I usually use this in the evening, but I also use this in the morning. And if I use this in the morning, I only use a really thin layer because it is quite thick, but it is very effective to get that dewy glow. So as I drop a small drop of Natural Pacific's Fresh Herbs Origin Serum, we need to know that as told by you and water, water scarcity already affects every continent. So as humans pop babies out of the female womb, especially in the last century, water use has been growing globally at more than twice the rate of population increase. And this is apparent not only in arid regions, but also in urban areas out there. This is my homemade alternative to petroleum jelly. If you want to know how to make this, there's a link down below in the description box. It's super easy to make. And I do have moisturizers, I do have emulsions. I also want to share with you guys about this recipe. So a little goes a long way. You don't really need a lot of this because it is very hydrating. So as I slather this all natural balm that I made to moisturize my face, as I speak, man-made pollution are affecting our environment air, water, soil, noise, radioactive, lights, and thermal, they are interlinked. We need to work together to tackle them all. Before I put on any makeup, I usually put on primer to make the makeup stay more longer on my skin throughout the day. And today I will be using this luminous primer by Beauty Story because I want that dewy natural glow. This really helps and it also contains powders that absorb sebum, which is perfect for my combination skin. As I make the base of my face glow with Beauty Stories Primer that also contains sunscreen to protect my face from the heat and UV rays of the sun, fires, both climate-triggered and man-made, are still occurring in various parts of the world. Forest fires, peatland fires, wildfires, you name it. 
One of the most important steps that I do to prep my face is to hydrate my lips. Before I put any makeup on it, it is super important to use some lip balm. And today I'm going to be using Himalaya Herbal Lip Balm. So to nourish my lips, I am using Himalaya Herbal Lip Balm. It contains wheat germ oil and also kerosene oil. There are many benefits we can get from agriculture. But did you know that on average, 7 million hectares of tropical forests disappear every year, mostly from agriculture by large businesses and also smallholders. The equivalent of 26 football fields every minute. Nearly 40% of the world's land surface is dedicated to agriculture. I mean, we need to prevent further deforestation and push for deforestation-free agriculture. Sustainable land use for the win. The skincare is done, now let's get to makeup. So I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows first. I'm using the Brow Gals Double Ended Spoolie and Angled Brush by Tonya Crooks. And also the cult favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in Ebony. So as I shape and fill my eyebrows with ABH's Deep Brow Pomade in Ebony and using Brow Gals Brush, Various stakeholders are designing innovations to tackle the climate crisis. One of these ways is through renewable energy. Not only big companies are able to do this, but individuals can create renewable energy too. An example, the Solar Mama Initiative by the Barefoot College that also empowers women. So its pilot started in India and now replicated in various parts of the world. If you educate one woman, you will educate not only a family, but also a community. Now I'm going to be using concealer on my face and to apply the concealer, I'm going to be using this little nugget. It's super cute. It's just like a little tiny fairy egg, little dragon egg. <laughs> and this is by Masami Shoko. So sometimes I just want to conceal some parts of my skin. And when I do, I use a concealer such as this one by Face Recipe. I can conceal some blemishes and spots on my face, but I can't conceal the fact that the global society is drowning in plastic. An estimated 18 billion pounds of plastic waste enters the world's oceans from coastal regions, a double-edged sword of what we call modernization. On a daily basis, in exchange of foundation, I usually use compact powder. This is what I prefer. This is one of the compact powders that I use. It's from Sephora and it is in bronze matte tan number 35. So as I tap this compact powder by Sephora on my skin, we also need to tap into the potentials of the younger generation, both millennials and also Gen Zs. No matter their age, we need to take them seriously and not think that they have nothing to offer on the table. The older you get, it does not mean that the wiser you will become and the more relevant experience you will accumulate. Being wise and experienced knows no age. Now let's go back to the eyes. I'm going to be using Urban Decay Snake 2 palette. I always go back to this palette time and time again whenever I want neutral tones. And also it's Primer Potion. And for the brushes, I'm going to be using brushes from Eco Tools. So for a day-to-day -day look, I usually use teas and a little bit of hint of glitter from Suspect. I hope that through this YouTube channel of mine, I will gradually open people's eyes too. You don't need to make any radical changes right away if you can't, but you can always start it step by step as you absorb the reality we are in right now. So I'm gonna be putting teas all over my eyelid. And by the way, I don't always use eyeshadow every single day but if i want to look more put together i will definitely use eyeshadow so fyi blend it out a bit with the blending brush so it's not too harsh so after this i'm going to get the second color suspect i'm just going to put this like at the middle i have so many mirrors in front of me at the moment <laughs> 
eyes on me, I don't know what to do. So Ooh, one more. So to complement tease and also suspect, I'm going to be using booty call. This one here. In the inner corner of my eyes to make them pop. So just here in the corners. Little bit. There. So to make my eye look more complete, I'm going to be using three things. The first is Benefit's Roller Lash, and then Lacme's Absolute Reinvent Liquid Eyeliner, and also Shu Uemura's Eyelash Curler. So as how my Lacme Liquid Eyeliner and Benefit Roller Lash work together to form a nice frame around my eyes, we need more partnerships between the public and also the private sector because cross-sector solutions will always be 10 steps ahead compared to working in silos. So I like to start in the middle and I don't know why, I like to kind of pull my, my skin taut back like that. It just makes it easier. I'm gonna go to the other eye. I'm making like a little, like a bit of a chunky wing so it's not very thin and now I'm going to be using the eyelash curler so what I like to do is I like to curl my lashes and then straight away do the mascara before I go to the other eye so one eye at a time because I want this curl to stay so you can see there's already a difference between my right and my left eye now I'm going to do the other eye. So I'm going to curl it. He's got it all figured out. That's what they all say, yeah. I'm using a zigzag motion. I like to go and get into the bottom parts. Make sure I get everything. Now I'm going to be using some bronzer. I'm going to be using Benefits Hula Cult Favorites. I love these cult favorites. <laughs> So with every sweep of this Hola bronzer to make my natural complexion more on fleek, we need to limit global warming too to 1.5 degrees Celsius as announced by the IPCC. This would, however, require unprecedented, rapid and far-reaching changes in all layers of society. Let's let our bronzer do the bronzing and not the heat of the sun. Eyes on me, I don't know what to do, so I smile. Doing this super lightly because I don't want like something that's too harsh and apparent. I just want a smooth touch. Trying not to give him the time of day. Now on to highlighter. I'm going to be using a local Indonesian brand. It's called Gobang. And I love this uh shade it's kind of like a champagne shade it's called bronze nebula but as you can see it has like this really pretty champagne color and I'm going to be using this highlighter brush from Eco Tools so like my eyeshadow I don't always use highlighter on a daily basis but I do frequently use it on a daily basis and if I do I only use like lightly in various spots that catches the sun Environmental innovations by young professionals. Just to name a few, you should check out the finalists of the UN Environment Young Champions of the Earth and the growing numbers of young professionals getting involved in climate entrepreneurship or ecopreneurship, sociopreneurship, and many more across the globe. And these initiatives should not only be supported by governments but also by investors in the private sectors. So after using highlighter, I usually use a cheek tint or a blush and then I will blend them both together to make a more natural glow. As I tap Face Recipes Marble Glow Lip and Cheek Tint on my cheeks, this gives a natural blush to my face, as natural as how the ecosystem should be when not being overly meddled by the hands of humankind. As you can see, I'm blending in the cheek tint into the highlighter. Now I'm just going to take my highlighter brush and sweep it one more time. Last but not least, I'm going to be coloring in my lips. I'm going to be using NYX's Butter Lipstick in Licorice. 
as you can see the color is a bit dark but I'm going to be using Real Techniques lip brush and I'm going to be building up the color so by using this lip brush I will be blending it in building it up layer by layer to make a more natural look as I swipe this finishing touch I hope that each and every one of you who have been watching this video until the very end and who have been watching all my videos on my channel to really reflect about the choices you make every single day so here it is, my go-to glowy natural no makeup makeup look using cruelty-free products. Thank you for staying tuned to the very end of this first Get Ready With Me video. If you'd like to see more of these videos, comment down below and don't forget to give your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future goodies. Now I'm off to my next destination and see you in the next video. Bye!